they ice blast and fissure properly there is uh, no hook shot they're all together ppd here comes the ice blast ready for the dive <laughs> What's up guys, hope you are doing great. In this video, I will be talking to you about how to play position 4 Earthshaker. During this video, we will try and focus on hero abilities, item choices, general gameplay and the talent tree selection for Earthshaker. Also, I would really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button guys. It helps the channel grow and motivates me to bring you more amazing content. Ok, let's start. Riker Stonehof or Earthshaker is a melee strength hero who is usually played as a position 4 or a ganker or a roamer in the current patch. He's got an array of stuns built into his kit that allows him to be an amazing initiator and a counter initiator. His first ability is called Fisher. He slams the ground with a mighty totem creating an impassable ridge of stone while stunning and damaging enemies along its line. The ridge forms in a straight line that 1400 units long and deals 260 magic damage, stuns for 1.5 seconds and also lasts for a whopping 8 seconds. The ridge is considered as terrain which makes it impossible even with magic immunity. Before we go over his second spell, let's look at his third spell called Aftershock. This is a passive spell that causes his other spells to do additional damage and stun nearby enemies when those spells are cast. Aftershock adds 150 damage causes an additional 1.5 second stun and is effective in a 300 unit radius. Alright, so off to his second spell. Earthshaker empowers his totem causing it to deal 400% bonus damage and it also gives him a 75 bonus attack range for the next attack. Last but not least, let's go over his most well known spell, Echo Slam. Earthshaker will slam the ground with unimaginable force causing tremors and shock waves to spread on the ground damaging and stunning all the enemies in a 600 AoE. The spell works by creating an echo based on the number of heroes in a 600 AoE. Real heroes create two echoes while illusions and other units cause one echo each. The base damage for the spell is 180 at its highest level and each echo deals an additional 150 damage. There may be many Earths, but there's only one Earth Shaker. Let's get down to item choices and gameplay. As Earth Shaker, you can choose to start off with two different sets of starting items. You can either go with the traditional one set of tangos, double and branches, salve, and a couple of mangoes, or you can buy boots first with a set of tangos. Earthshaker's got decent movement speed and if you've got the early boots and skill your enchant totem first, you can very easily snipe enemy couriers, especially if you lay down a ward to get vision. In the early game, if you are paired with your offlaner, you can use your fissure to block creeps in your lane or you can use it defensively in order to prevent the enemy safe laner from killing your offlaner. If however your offlaner is playing aggressively and can bully the enemy safe laner, you can lay down a fissure to trap them and net a kill. One of the biggest mistakes I've seen many new Earthshaker players do during the early game is not leveling the Aftershock. Without Aftershock, your spells won't stun nor do as much damage as possible. As the game progresses, you can opt to go for a Soul Ring and Tranquil Boots in most Earthshaker games. But you can opt for Face Boots or Arcane Boots if you do prefer to choose between Movement Speed or Mana Region. As a position 4 Earthshaker, the Tranquil Boots will allow you to roam and the Soul Ring will help you maintain a decent mana pool. In the early game, you can opt to roam around looking to set up ganks. Especially if you have an aggressive mid laner like a Queen of Pain maybe or a Lina, you should definitely try to rotate at the 4 minute rune pawn time under the guise of smoke. As your Fisher has a range of 1400 units, it is quite easy to set up smoke ganks to the mid lane or secure the first rune. As for items, a blink dagger is almost always necessary for an Earthshaker. This is because Earthshaker's ultimate Echo Slam deals most damage when enemy heroes are clumped up together. Therefore, in order to deal maximum damage, you need to catch the enemy off guard or when they are grouped up. 
the blink dagger allows you to get the jump on your enemies without them even noticing. Once you do have the blink dagger and your abilities are off cooldown, it is always a good idea to start roaming and looking for kills. Your enchant totem can cut down squishy supports very easily. Therefore, before blinking in, it is always advisable to use enchant totem so that you can get another enchant totem attack right after the surprise blink. After the blink dagger, your item choices open up a little bit. You can opt for a four staff that is good for kiting or initiating during team fights. A shadow blade is a great item if you feel that you need to get away quickly once you blink and echo, or generally to create more of a surprise factor. A Yule Scepter is also a really good addition to your inventory as it increases your movement speed, gives you some additional mana region and most importantly allows you to dispel those pesky silences and negative buffs. Aghanim Scepter is another great addition to your arsenal that transforms your enchant totem into an ability that allows you to jump 1100 units similar to a blink dagger. And finally a refresh orb is never too bad as you can devastate your enemies with not one but two echo slams right in their faces and turning the tides of the fight. The talent tree for Earthshaker is not too complicated. At level 10, if you are playing position for Earthshaker, I usually opt for the plus 200 mana especially if you have purchased Tranquil Boots. This will give you some much needed mana to use your spells multiple times in a single team fight. The plus 25 damage talent can probably be selected if you find yourself a quick blink dagger and there are other means for you to maintain your mana region. The level 15 talent is a decision that you need to make taking into consideration whether there are any enemy heroes with armor reduction spells or items or whether they deal a heavy amount of physical damage. In which case you need to go for the plus 6 armor talent. You can opt for the plus 25 movement speed if you are up against mobile heroes who have a higher movement speed than you. At level 20, I would almost always go for the plus 40 echo damage which immensely increases the damage done with your echo slam. However, if you feel the need to disable enemy heroes from a far greater distance without getting yourself in harm's way, then the plus 320 fissure range talent is the one for you. Lastly, at level 25, it all depends on whether you are going against a heavy magic burst lineup, in which case you need to select the plus 40% magic resistant talent. However, if you feel like you need to burst enemy supports or need to chain stun and keep any slippery enemy heroes in check, then the cooldown reduction in your enchant totem can help you a great deal. Alright guys, that's it for today's guide on playing position 4 Earthshaker. I hope you enjoyed watching this guide and can take something away into your games from this. As always, thank you so much for the support and I would be grateful if you just hit that like button and click subscribe so that you can stay notified when I upload more awesome content like this. Until we meet again, it's GG, well played.